Historically, the high-tech industry has not been known for gender diversity and creating opportunities for women. So the question lies, will history repeat itself with the artificial intelligence boom? We're here to share insights on this important topic and to discuss their commitment to the advancement of women in the AI industry is Nicole Johnson. She is the president of the Cadence Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So why does the Cadence Foundation believe that infusing gender diversity into the AI workforce is so important? So thank you. I am coming to you from our first ever Fem AI Summit here in Silicon Valley. Um, and we believe that um, AI has a potential to be more revolutionary than the internet. Our research shows that by 2030, AI is going to add $15 trillion to the global economy and over 100 million jobs. What you might not know is that as of today, women comprise only about 20% of the AI workforce and only about 10% of the leadership. What has been the biggest barrier preventing more women from joining the AI workforce and how is Cadence Fem.AI initiative helping to overcome it? Sure. So uh, we have identified three key leakage points where women fall out of the talent pipeline. The first is completing a STEM degree. The second is landing that first lucrative job in high tech. And the third is rising to leadership levels. Interestingly, women uh, leave the tech workforce uh, at about 50 percent before they hit the 12-year mark versus about 20 percent in other industries. Uh, so we know there's work to do. We at Cadence Giving Foundation have pledged $20 million to address this issue, working with nonprofits, universities, and other innovative problem solvers to work on this issue. And what are you doing to launch the FEM.AI initiative? So uh, Cadence has increased uh, women in technical roles by 50% over the last 10 years. So we've taken that playbook um, and our learnings and are launching a FEMAI summit um, today in Silicon Valley, bringing together leaders from high tech, government, nonprofit, academia, to really educate, inspire, and motivate leaders to play a role in, um, in making an impact on this issue. Uh, we're really excited. We have speakers from Workday, um, from Stanford, from Girls Who Code, to name a few, who are going to be talking about everything from how to get women involved in the AI revolution to how having women involved in uh, creation of AI is going to ensure ethical and uh, diverse AI product. Well, where can people go to learn more information about this? Yes, they can visit our website, fem.ai. Help us celebrate Women in AI Month during the month of October. Thank you so much for joining us, Nicole. For more information, be sure to head to fem.ai.